Hello and welcome everybody. Here we got our host, Gabe, and here we got our co-host, me, I guess. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. So we got a very, 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 very interesting game. That was. So Gabe, if you do control shift five, then we'll sing the best of five. Because it is. In the top right corner of the map, playing for the clan Ahu, it is our pink Terran Captain Undead. And in the bottom left corner of the map, playing for the plebs, we have our green toss cobblestone. Wonder if you got that name from Minecraft or not, I don't know. Since I can't really chat with you, Okay, but I guess this is gonna be a one-man cause. I guess. <laughs> so, Captain Undead begins normal build, barracks, uh, refinery, and cobblestone. Uh, that's pretty much the same, but with toss style, uh, gateway, and simulator. Just one thing though, that is isn't blocking the Reaper ramp. So, ca so Captain Undead can actually jump up uh, with his reaper into the main base of cobblestone one SEV and one probe goes down so it's even I guess even though it isn't since um, cobblestone will probably have a lot more probes he has the chrono boost and he has the earlier base so this actually is a bigger hit on the Captain Undead's economy so far. Maybe he will get those minerals back uh, with the mules. But so far, I think I would say it's a little bit bigger hit on Captain Undead. So orbital coming up from the coming up on the main base uh, of uh, Captain Undead. While, oh, I, I I was about to say that second base of the Compton was about to finish, but then I realized this. What is this? Captain and that stole the cool guys. The guys? That's not very cool. What am I talking about? <laughs> uh, cobblestone puts down his Twilight Council. While well, making a stalker to protect himself from the re where is the reaper? Got him to find it. There we go. Why is it? So there we go. He's gonna throw his grenade to you the stalker, but this isn't gonna do much damage to cobblestone. Did did he even scout anything? Nah, he didn't really. He saw the Twilight Council. Where is this reaper? There we go. I'm a probe server. Very, very probe server. So the gas has finally gone down from um, yeah, Cobbleson. He has killed the refinery that was in the way. And now he will get that extra gas. The second base is soon up and going for Captain Undead. And he's gonna have that steady income of two mules. Nor it's it isn't happening anything crazy. Um, one thing though is that Cobblestone isn't uh, researching anything from Twilight Council, which is a huge mistake. Now he starts to blink, but that's many many seconds off. Um, Cobblestone feeding these unbuildable plates. Hmm. I I, I wonder if I will ever use uh, that space when it's not CVC because that is the only matchup I've ever had to use that space to block off and the the second base from uh, circles that is the only uh, case of me having to do that but that's about it so one more gateway and one more robo for cobblestone on top of those three gateways and a twilight his army is gonna come up to 
Captain Undead and say, I'm gonna kill you. Or gonna try to kill you. But I don't think it's gonna work since Captain Undead got a tank on the high ground and a lot of units. He got a third race on the way while the barracks are well, two extra barracks are coming up from Captain Undead. Cobblestone is about uh, 40 seconds off his third base already, so this is a very, very good position for our Captain Undead. He is close in workers, he has two orbitals. He isn't mining that much gas, but because he isn't building many gas units, I don't think he actually needs a lot of gas. And I think he just uses gas for... Uh, now I, he will probably build marauders, and he will probably build tanks. But you never know. Maybe he goes for mass marine, even though that is uh, something that shouldn't work against Protoss with their colossus and zealots and uh, sentries that can force fill them off. So. Cobblestone is ready to blink on top of the higher and the question is if Captain Undead is ready for a lot of stalkers. He targets down the war prism. So, ooh, oh, he was close to getting it. Will he get it? The war prism goes down, so no more stalkers. The stalkers still uh, can get home if he recalls. But I don't think he will do that since he's getting a lot of damage. Captain Undead unloads from his uh, bunker and goes for a lot of uh, boys to pull. He pulls all the boys. Captain Dead is running out of income now. The, the thing with these, with this tactic, is to get that one-time attack. But since it failed, pretty much, he is behind in income. He can still survive because he has three orbitals. But it's gonna be a hard way. Cobblestone attacking the orbital would, to me, seems like a very odd choice since he isn't gonna kill us. Dropping all the meals here for Cap for Captain Dead while killing all the stalkers. If Cobblestone one makes it out, but that's it. So either, I would say that Captain Dead starts free producing CVs. And uh, just sits at home, eventually, or he goes for this one-time attack. And uh, I think it's gonna be sitting at home, defensively. But he needs to land this CC soon, since his, since his base is getting full. He isn't mining that much gas, so he's getting a lot of minerals. He's actually ahead in income. How is that even possible? I'm um, looking at the bases and they're close to all saturated. So how are they so close in income? This is insane. That's 30 workers in advantage. And a base mining. And they're about even. Now the mules are dying, so now Captain Undead is falling behind in about 900 minerals a minute. Which is absolutely insane how much they can mine. It's just insane, man. But we got Cobblestone moving home again. And Captain and that is safe for now. Okay, Cobblestone is making way too many workers at the moment. He's still producing workers. But he is over 66 workers, which is the maximum mining of three bases. And when I was about to say he, is, he hasn't started a fourth base, he starts a fourth base. So that's my luck. <laughs> Colossus comes out and the external lances, I think it's called, right? The upgrade for the Colossus? Hmm. I think so. And he's making two Colossus at the same time. He got one Robo in the natural and uh, one Robo in the third. Captain Undead has pretty much stab stab stabilized. Stabilized. And he's very behind in income. But the army supply, he's doing 
Okay. I wouldn't say that's being the same army supply with Atalus' goods. Oh, this is so good. This is the best thing that the Captain Edit can do. Kill the base. I don't know if that was cancelled. Let's look. It was cancelled, so it wasn't a huge amount of damage. He lands in the main base to get the Templar Archives and takes out the upgrade? No, external lances has completed. But he is gonna kill the robotics base and no more Colossus. He's gonna load up and go away. This is actually the one combat move. Combat move? What am I talking about? <laughs> Comeback move that Captain Undead can do. He will try to get that one Colossus, but he will not be able to. I wonder what unit has the most kills of a Cobblestone, because it feels like he has killed a lot of units. <laughs> but this is an insane game from Captain Undead. If he wins, I'm gonna be. I don't know what to say, but his position, it was a bat. It was really, really bad. Now it's that stabilizing. He's even ahead. The Mincom. The Mincom. What is a Mincom? Income, of course. Uh, upgrades are not looking good for Captain Dead. But I think maybe he can work around it. This is. It, it feels like an overrooting for one player, which I shouldn't. Um, why I'm talking like this is probably because he's behind. I really like seeing comics. But, yeah, 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 I should talk like I want both to. But, uh, but I'm really hyped to see if this comeback is actually gonna work. That's the thing. Huge attack coming in here. Uh, from Cobblestone, massive amounts of salads coming in from the north, and I think this is Captain Dead's last stand, and I don't see it going well. This is probably going to be the end of the last game of this best fight between Captain Dead and Cobblestone. One, no, two Cobblestone. This is just. They just. You can really see. Captain Dead's pain when he's trying to hold on, but it's not gonna work. So we are loading in to my heat map, my most hated map. I really don't like this map because of the slow set on in the top and just the basis like the third. You see. Really, really in front, or okay, but enough of that. Now we are going to announce the first player is our pink Terran that is playing for our with his cap. Oh, and in the top left corner of the map, playing for plumps. Toss it is so the on is a to all of the Reaper hub. but the good Reaper. I, I don't know if you can I, I think this sure that. yeah it should be I'm just looking this feels like a face this is yeah is this intentional I don't know you guys can't see me I'm just Abort mission. Abort mission. <laughs> Bubble soon's bro is going to be a little bit annoying. Uh, it's going to stay on the ramp. Can I go down the ramp? Z <laughs> well, um, we chase us down. Cobblestone. Both cobblestone. And harm, like, cannot say. But. Definitely. Not dead. 
damage. Second base of has begun. While the second base of the cat Captain Undead has begun as well. Factory coming up from Captain Undead. And no add on yet on the barracks from Prom started. Kelson um, making Twilight Council, Docker and the Warp Gate, which is pretty normal, and they're just workers. Brinker coming down from Cap and that add on. Like uh, the, uh, it would be so nice to see just a little <laughs> freaking a big barrel. Okay, this map is weird for the town in this position. You can't just build it forward. Uh, on the production, you are eventually gonna to your main base, which. It's gonna make it all weird. I don't know. Maybe the turns can live without that. Main down from our cobblestone while also coming down. Cobblestone is still producing a lot of workers. Well, Captain Dead is doing the same thing. Two stalkers can. You're not gonna do too much. Probably. I don't know from the low ground, the high high ground. I don't know if that's a thing to say, but the stalkers is, is the stalkers are gonna find a marine scouting. He knows that there are two stalkers there. Fed base coming up from Cobblestone. This time more of a normal timing for PVT. And robotic space kind of come so he is gonna be able to make those uh, disruptors or colossus out of robo hmm, I don't know what I'm talking about at the moment hmm. Stalkers is gonna come in. It's gonna get fired by the tank. Tank these stalkers, which is not good, but it is doable. Coming up from cap. Up while the third base is done. Done. External lances coming up from the cobblestone with the double upgrade coming up from. Uh, Coming up from um, Captain Undead. I don't know if I like that since the process is eat away, has millions of observers everywhere. Ooh, he blinks. So he it can't blink on the low ground. Ooh, actually takes down. That is actually huge. But I don't think this is gonna be nice for the stalkers. One is gonna escape, but I think the back. Wait, right, we'll do like that. I see them come in here. There's uh, these couple of stalkers, they are gonna. Oops. Because there are barely any stalkers on the map. There are two damaged. And these are cloaked. Does he have the observer is coming home again? Is it gonna be enough? The upgrades get cancelled. Ooh, that's a huge one. He's gonna cancel them even more. And see these banshees, which is actually huge. 
if Captain and Dad was gonna take this base. That would be freaking hell. I hope he does. Gunner hasn't been under much pressure this game, which may lead that he is gonna have a ruling time. Not as last time, losing many many SCVs and eventually died because he didn't have time to rebuild. Third base is gonna land for Captain and Dead. So this mining in level two Combustion's third base, which is fully saturated. Even even though Combustion has been mining for so much longer on his head. Uh, Captain Undead has been pretty much toe to toe in income. Yeah, you know. Or maybe I'm just blind and then when yeah. Cobblestone was actually ahead. Holy god. for like two minutes I think can be it so uh, fourth base is coming up from calm are out third one is coming the triple colossus uh, composition I guess you could say which I think is the number that you should because four Colossuses like go into each other and their Colossus cannot uh, shoot lasers at the same But Kamazon is going to. I thought it was a. Apparently, I'm like, it was another upset. Well, it's already done from Captain. And then, <laughs> not saying that in a while. So, plus one air damage. Which is very essential. Manage to make this a 1 1. If this is gonna be a 2. So, big, scary Prudence army can. can I, no. Gonna come base and it's gonna probably kill this fit, but then if it flies off, it's gonna die to the stop. Because either way, I think maybe if he started for a second, maybe he survive with it. But big fight in here, just a mass. We think of a storm massacre, but the oh, accidentally, I think it was a target fire on the unit that was in the back. Forward. All the that I still think it is enough from Cobblestone. I think it's going to be too. Actually, it seems like Captain that has stabilized, but the income advantage is just gonna drop completely. Uh, um, oh well, I'm gonna just mute myself. Eddie. Captain and then made 
attendance. If oh my god, so much. Can I just mute myself a little bit more? Finally, we are back. If I got an Captain Edda. I don't know. The unit composition of Cal isn't really a type. But he's making the up pile. What? What? I'm just... Can someone please... Just... He's making the... For... That was... Making the Vikings that can hit it. By making... Liberators... That can hit crowns. So there. And... Tower coming up from uh, Cap is gonna spot everything in this radius. I probably have to. Oh my god. Now I'm starting to get spammed. thing to get. Okay, now we get a huge fight here. <laughs> this chapter shot actually got a very nice shot. And uh, it's actually looking to be a very even fight here because of the disruptors. They are pretty huge. Oh, oh, that disruptor Nova. Oof, that isn't good. But the thing is that, yes, Cobblestone got a huge work advantage but if you look here it isn't that much if you look here it's still oversaturated the headways are actually not oversaturated which i thought they were but 81 workers he's not getting the income the 81 workers are not mining efficiently Even now, or it's, it, it has gotten worse. <laughs> Let's just say the in-camp thing. Oh god, no! This is a slaughter. Vikings, two shots, ribs, uh, which is I think they do uh, because ribs are mechanical. I, I I should just not open my mouth. If I don't know for a hundred percent, but I, I think they do they do extra damage versus perps. But I don't I don't remember what oh my god this huge disruption nervous. I don't know who's gonna win this fight since the army of Cobblestone is getting smaller and smaller because of these liberators. The, the liberator shots are absolutely insane. Holy god, they're just massacring everything in this game. I don't know. This is the most insane game. I, I, who had to lost more minerals? Oh my god. Let's just say the captain dead has actually a lot 